Thank you for the invitation. And children, all children are sleeping and waiting for the kingdom. Thy kingdom come. I didn't uh, contact the brothers, but it's a lot of subject about Israel. We are waiting for kingdom, brethren, and it seems like the last few years, our prayer, thy kingdom come, is more urgent than any year before. I have stopped counting how many times observing signs of the time I wish that the kingdom was here already. While we all are waiting, we all must remember the advice given by Jesus in Matthew 6.33 from Dialogue, but seek you first his righteousness and the kingdom and all these things shall be super added to you. This verse reveals God's wish for us, points what we should do and on what we should focus and promises that we will not be disappointed at the end. The other things will be added, not only added, super added. That means much more than expected. This also means that we must be active. We must study God's word, uh, be uh, watchful, teachable, learn from everything and have faith, trust in God's leading. Brother, in Luke 11 to 4, our Lord teaches his disciples to pray. We can notice a few important things on which our Lord focus attention. And I bet some of them uh, who got parents in the truth or all their siblings knew that before you learn how to read. Uh, at least that applies to me. I got two older sisters. So in Luke 11 uh, to 4, we can see six things. Thy kingdom come, so be ready, be watchful. Thy will be done in heaven and in earth, not our way, but God's way. Give us daily bread. That's mean necessity of life, basic life, basic life necessities. Forgive our sins, conditional. If we forgive others who sinned against us, do not leave us into temptation. Deliver us from devil. Help us develop character worth everlasting life. God's kingdom is always subject to many questions. Disciples ask Jesus like impatient children, when the Lord? when it will happen. And Jesus replied, it's not for you to know the times and seasons in Acts 1, 6, 7. Other words, do not worry. Father holds the steering wheel. wheel. Everything is under his control. Jesus never set a day or year when he will come and when he will start working on establishing the kingdom. But many of Lord's people are very impatient and they started counting. I'm sure that you've heard to the same dates or years which I will bring you. 1914, 1999, 2000, 11, 11, 2011, 12, 12, 2012. We lucky. There's no 13, 13, 2, 13. But next was 
235, 243. Many things that due to pandemic, the war in Europe and many bad things associated with war, which happens every day, we are in the last days and kingdom is almost here. Well, I would say for sure we are closer. Brother, and we are God's children, and we might listen to what God's word explain and learn what the signs mean. That's, this is our privilege and blessing to know God's plan, to see how God's promises are fulfilled. In Acts 14.22, we read that we must go through much tribulation and the jesus gave also description when he will come back in thessalonians 5 1 2 he stated that he will come as a thief in the night his coming will be like thief during the night not visible effects are visible the next day but jesus also revealed what needs to happen he said that abdomination of desolation will be revealed men of sin must be revealed antichrist the great tribulation the knowledge must increase the travel will increase there will be hard to find faith on the earth we read in luke 18 18. the many politicians uh, world leaders are worried so much about global warming but jesus worried about global cooling he said that because of increase of the wickedness the love of most will grow cold grow cold this is not good signs but when we can see today the war in europe between russia and ukraine is it and it has impact on whole world the many casualties on both sides many losses of life many tragedies politicians call uh, that this is return to the cold war between us and russia but brethren cold war is better than regular one there are no casualties our loving heavenly father gives us his word and through his faithful servant everything what we need for peaceful waiting for the kingdom will be given to us uh, my online bible study class right now studies the prophecy of habakkuk oh brother and what enlightened study is this many references to brother russell's writing we know that habakkuk was the most interesting of the minor prophets prophets and his prophecy was written as a conversation between him and god abakuk asked question and god answering the question and this prophecy was written in few years before the fall of jerusalem Habakkuk could not understand why God used weak Babylon to punish Judah. And God replied that Babylon will, would be evidently get what deserve. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible analyzes prophecy of Habakkuk and points the purpose of the prophecy. And I read from this to remind the prophet himself and his listeners that the God of Israel is the true God 
the one in control of everything and every event. He can be trusted even in the face of mysterious circumstances of life, which often appear to contradict his sovereign control. And this is for some reasons why this is. The first reason is to test trust and obedience. And there's some scripture, Psalm 33, 20, Psalm 27, 1, and Acts 1, 7. And he said to them, I'm reading Acts 1, 7. It is not for you to know the times or season which the Father has put in his own authority. Just trust. And this reminds us how important is trust and obedience. We got him, trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. The second reason is to sift and to reveal, to separate those who put trust in God from those who trust times, dates, leaders, churches, denomination. I got in my on my job old timer foreman and he said, hey guys, this project will separate boys from the men. That means there will be some really testing. And Jesus in Luke 22, uh, 31 said to Peter, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that my sift you as a wheat. We brethren all believe that time of troubles started in 1914. And some of the brothers believe that will be ended pretty soon. But Brother Russell, a few years early, wrote that this starts. It doesn't finish till 1914. And he is uh, supported by Revelation 2.10. Be faithful until death, and I will give you crown of life. Not to be faithful to 1914. In this year, many were disappointed in 1914. They returned to nominal systems, which they were members before. They established their own Bible students group and became unbelievers. Disappointment or discouragement is for testing people. And Simon was tested too. When Jesus was crucified, the Simon Peter said, I am go I'm going fishing. And the other said, yeah, we are going with you too. Well, but the fishing wasn't so successful. They found a stranger who told him them through the net from other side. And they caught 153 fishes. And the stranger was not stranger anymore. They recognized the Jesus. Jesus who was resurrected. Brethren, with your permission or without, I will call this a strong booster. This booster which changed their life. The Peter was changed. Yes, brother, discouragement is the very danger in our spiritual life. And we know that Miller expected Jesus to come visible in 1844, so 30 years early. This caused big disappointment and discouragement to all believers. It was painful test of faith for them. And the Miller wrote the letter to his followers 
And there is kind of long letter. So I will read uh, the end of this letter. He said, we uh, escort you by the love and fellowship to hold fast in this hope. It is warranted by the every promise of the word of God. It is secured to you by the two immutable things, the counsel and oath of God, in which is impossible for him to lie. Yes, let's be encouraged, not discouraged. The Bible gives some clue about the closeness of the kingdom. He said that the six things that fig tree shall not blossom, no fruits in the vines, the labor of olives shall fail, fields yield no food, flock may be cut off from the fold, there will be no earth in the stars. And in 18, 318 Habakkuk says, yet I will enjoy in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. What a faith had Habakkuk, similar faith to Moses or Job. Job said, ha, he slay me. Yes, yet I will trust him. What was brethren expected? around 1914, the end of trouble, establishing kingdom, deliverance and reign of church, resurrection of ancient worthies, conversion of whole Israel. We know that this not happened, not, not everything happened. Till 1914, till 2014, and now 2020 but we know for sure that we are closer. I like to bring your attention to the prophecies to present of Israel and the fig tree to present time. The fig tree represents the nation of the Israel. I remember when I was a little boy, the, the brother in Poland mentioned this, what brother uh, John stated, watch Italy and Israel. But I noticed something else. The brethren were pointing on this uh, boys and girls like me, and they say, wow, they may come alive to the kingdom. They are so young, eight years old. Well, I'm... 69 kingdom didn't come yet. Israel is important in God's plan, dear brethren, but uh, not so important because uh, as a nation, but God really didn't choose the nation. He chose the man and his name was Abraham. We read this about his promises uh, in the Genesis. The Abraham was, he started the Israel nation and from him the Israel nation grew. The Israel is, as I mentioned, shown in the uh, fig tree. Uh, in Mark eleven fourteen, 14, uh, we read Jesus' word, let no eat fruit of you till the age. This is correct translation to the age, uh, because in some translation is stated forever. We know that uh, Zionist movement started uh, in the time of brother, uh, brother Russell, but uh, Zionist movement didn't make a nation. Uh, is, nation of Israel with their experiences and troubles, uh, we know finally got uh, their own state in year 1948, May 14. 
we now see, dear brethren, that the, this fig tree is blooming. Many historians and politicians says that it was miracle. 2000 years spread over the world and they can't be revealed. But for this 2000 years, they kept their own language, tradition, and they never gave up. In 1948, the Israel, right after having been independent and having the country, they were attacked by Arabs. And uh, Israel uh, sent Prime Minister Golda Meir to the USA to collect some money for the weapons. They were counting about seven to eight million if dollars if they are happy but she got 50 million dollars and i believe that god blessed this project golda mayer the lady is very interesting was very interesting person born in kiev ukraine immigrated with family to usa and next she became uh, the prime minister of the Israel. But she was probably the one prime minister who got meeting for her ministers in her kitchen while she was baking, uh, fixing dinner and still focusing of very important things. She was multitask. Not possible for me. I barely can brew coffee. In uh, Look, 21, uh, 2933, Jesus gave the prophecy of the uh, fig tree. And we mentioned already that the fig tree started blooming in May 14, 1948. And this generation who was uh, at that time uh, will uh, witness something very important. So brethren, if you will take uh, your pencil ready, you will know the day when the kingdom will be established. Let's go to the map. May 14, 1948 plus 70 years brings us, us to 2018. Nothing happened. May uh, 5, 14 plus 80 brings us to year 2028. Is it is still six years ahead of us? Why I got these numbers from? From Psalm 90, 10, we read, the days of our years are three score years and 10, and if by reason of strength, they be four score. That's 70 and, and 80. Rather than in 2019, we <clears throat> were on our trip to Israel. And during this trip, we got chance to meet many interesting people. And one evening we got a rabbi, which said that uh, Number 72 is important. And number 72, if we put to 1948, this brings us to 220. What's important happened in 220? Oh, that was global lockdown. We all experienced that. But let's brother and go to Bible in Isaiah 35.1. The desert shall rejoice, the blossom as a rose, and rejoice even with joy. With, by God's grace, we saw it while we were visiting in the Israel that year 2019. When we drove on the road, on the one side was Israel, 
and on the other side was a different country. What was the, on the Israel? There was, everything was blooming. On the left side, where was another country? I don't remember. What was? Jordan. Jordan. There was sand. Where is the will? There is the way. The Israel got will and they got God's blessing and they were blooming. I would like to finish uh, my talk with Isaiah 61, 11. For us, the earth bringeth forth the bud and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteous and Christ to spring forth before all the nations. Let us, brethren, wait patiently in God's time. The kingdom will come. Let us trust and obey. I hope that you wrote the number uh, 2020, uh, 2028. You got my email address. Please send me complaints if nothing happened. So we will put a hundred years, but you need to wait more. You need to wait to 2048. Let us trust and obey. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for your patience.